Welcome to Spotlight, it's your girl Colette Prince and here's what's happening in the world of entertainment this week. We headed to the local premiere for the highly anticipated film release Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Paris goes up in flames as we speak to the legendary director Jean-Jacques Arnaud about his film Notre Dame on Fire. And we look at the new Afrikaans Netflix film release Mensa van die Bund. The new film release of the week is the film so many of us have been waiting for and that's Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Directed by Ryan Coogler, further cast Letitia Wright, our new Black Panther, Lupita Nyong'o, and returning cast that we know and love, with the Black Panther Wakanda Forever being one of this year's most highly anticipated films. We were of course out and about at the local premiere of the film. Important to hit every African territory because Black Panther was number one here, it was number one in West Africa and East Africa. It's amazing. But it's emotional. My makeup is smudged. That's how intense the whole film was. Are you shine to yak? Besit me bega shak. Are you shine? In this week's competition, we're giving away Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie merchandise hampers. For full competition details and questions, head over to Spotlight South Africa on Facebook. And as always, T's and C's apply. The second film release of the week is Notre Dame on Fire. Following the tragic event that befell Paris in 2019, we follow the true story of the men and women that put their lives on the line to save the renowned landmark that is the Notre Dame Cathedral. Veteran director Jean-Jacques Arnaud, who's directed films like The Name of the Rose and Seven Years in Tibet, speaks to me about creating the emotionally captivating film on the real-life event in this docu-realist film in cinemas, Notre Dame on Fire. The true story, what really happened, and that nobody knows, looks like a, screen, a mad screenplay from a very inventive Hollywood screenplay writer. Yeah. It's too good to be true. The audience love to see something that's real because they, they, they identify better. Yes, They're yes. really sure to know that it really happened. The new Netflix film release is a Mensa Van die Wind. We rekindle old flames when singer-songwriter Lo, starring Armand Okamp, grieves the loss of his girlfriend and returns to his family farm, a place where he feels he can reconnect with his family and his land, allowing him to achieve a new sense of peace. I was also bang. Always. I've learned that this is a good thing. It means that I stand on the point to do something important. Mensa van die Wind is director David Schroeder's first feature film, so we had a chat with David about the film and why you should stream Mensa van die Wind on Netflix. I think Low Story is, is a universal one. I think it, it will appeal to multiple people, but there are other characters in the film who I think you should be able to identify with. I've got so many friends and family worldwide who are not able to watch it and to be on the biggest streaming platform is just uh, an amazing experience. Indigenous films take center stage at the Africa International Film Festival 2022. The festival opened on the 6th of November, running through till the 12th, with the theme of this year's festival being Indigenous for Global, focusing on taking local stories to international audiences. So we will keep you up to date with all things Africa International Film Festival as we continue to honor the amazing work the continent has to offer. Coming up next week, inspired by true events, we follow the journey of the woman who sought justice for sexual abuse allegations against Hollywood's most powerful film producer, Harvey Weinstein, in the film release, she said. I believe you used to work for Harvey Weinstein. We 
we've reached the end of the show, so follow us on Facebook at Spotlight South Africa for all things entertainment. From me, Colette Prince, catch you guys next week.